That don't tickle. You'd almost say that this is a definition of insanity. And while some people have told him he's insane, Chicagoan Dave Egan says he's been waiting to do this for a long time. On my back right now, I'm getting a uh, view of uh, Wrigley Field. People always ask me, uh, that tattoo's hurt. And I said, not as much as being a Cubs fan for 34 years, you know. Adding to the Cubs pride Egan displays on his head, he's getting an even bigger and better showcase of his Cubs love on his back. Just a bunch of uh, memorabilia, ticket stubs, uh, the 100 year anniversary logo that the Cubs released, I'm putting that on the back of my neck. I just always been a diehard Cubs fan my uh, whole life. But not all diehard Cubs fans showed their spirit in the same way. It was a four year long project. I actually built the man cave because you can't go to Wrigley Field every single day. Stuart McVicker has created his own shrine to the Cubs in the basement of his home. The man cave features turnstiles, autographed baseballs and jerseys, 10 TVs, bleacher seats, arcades, and yes, even a urinal. All my friends, they did think I was crazy, but at the same time, they know my passion for the Cubs and, and the game. These super fans crazy for the Cubs and their pride on full display. Priya Shreether, The Associated Press.